Welcome to RC Tech and today we are going to talk about uh, Informatica expression transformation, its basic uses, how we create it and uh, how we can implement it in uh, Informatica mapping. I give a quick intro about it. Uh, it's an active and a connective transformation. It performs a non-aggregate calculations like concatenating first and last name together, converting strings to number or uh, string to number. Uh, vice versa. Also, if you want to make any changes to input port, like for example, making changes to employee salary, uh, in terms of precision, making some calculation adjustments, so you could do all this using expression transformation. It has input, output, input, output, variable ports, and depends upon the usage, uh, you could define it in your uh, uh, port definition. It allows multiple expressions in a single expression transformation by creating an expression for each output port. What are the components of an Informatica expression transformation? It has a transformation tab. The property section, you could define the tracing level uh, for the expression transformation, like a verbose, normal, another couple of more uh, options available there. Under the metadata extensions, you specify the extension name, data type, precisions, and its value. Um, Creating expression transformation is a very simple and it has a couple of more steps to uh, cover. Uh, you need to first define a mapping or in a mapping designer, uh, then pull the source qualifier transformation, create an expression transformation, uh, drag the port from the source qualifier transformation into the expression transformation, then make changes by double clicking the port on the expression transformation if you want to add uh, uh, custom ports or making changes to the existing ports like add uh, uh, functionalities within a custom port you could do all this using expression editor and verify the syntax too and assign the data type port precision scale match to the expression written value you can either create this uh, expression transformation as a non-reusable or reusable. By default, it's a non-reusable. There is a check mark. You could check it out to make it as reusable so that the rest of the developers, you could share the transformation to other environment within this repository. Um, after you make the transformation reusable, you cannot copy ports from the source qualifier or another transformation. This is very important. Before uh, before you make a uh, transformation to reusable, keep these steps in mind that these are all the, the cons that you need to take into account. And define the configuration uh, tracing level. Add metadata extensions on the metadata extension tab and click OK. And connect the output ports to the downstream transformations like an uh, update strategy, aggregator if you want, or directly to the uh, target transformation. And here's the case study that we are going to take a look at it. Um, using an expression transformation, uh, concatenate first and last name from employees table in the Oracle database and store it in a database with a field name, name, that holds first and last name. Let's take a look at how the expression transformation does that. So it's like a John Doe is, uh, will be concatenated together and loaded into the names table, names column in the employees table. To implement this case study, uh, I mean, go to the source table column, uh, bring the employees table into the Informatica source folder, and define the target designer. Go to the target designer, drag and drop the employees table, and right click the employees table and change it to T underscore employee name or whatever, and generate the scripts. So, the case study one, along with the expression transformation, let's take a look at the Informatica. Okay, here is the employees table. Uh, let's say uh, you have one record. Uh, it's john.doe at email.com. The first name is John Doe, John, and last name is Doe. Let's see on the employees target table, I don't have any records. So ultimately, as based on our prior slide, we want to, com we want to move the record from the employees to employees TGT by combining the first name, last name. Let's see how we can do it. This is the uh, mapping designer. Um, then go to the um, source qualifier. 
in the sources click import from database click on the source I'm going to import employees table click OK the employees tables brought into this under click the next box which is the target definition so import from the database employees table click OK now there's the last box the little box is called the mapping designer click on it then go back to the uh, the source qualifier under the source under the sources uh, call connection definition we implement we brought the employees and under the target import from database click OK it's employees underscore TGT click OK the table is imported now go back to the mapping designer bring your employees just click that uh, employees table hold your mouse hold your mouse left hand key then uh, drop it here so the employees table will be loaded into the canvas along with the source qualifier transformation this is comes by default so if you want to make any changes you could change this otherwise it's just leave it as is it's a default one then go back to the target this is the steps we are talking about the employees underscore TGT bring it on that side let's uh, click on this to remove the left pane so this is the employees is a source table employees underscore TGT is the target table that I'll be using to post record um, now click on the transformation menu click create select for the expression by typing just E it pops up just give any name but uh, exp underscore is a uh, um, ESP underscore is the naming convention. It should be a prefix when you create an expression transformation. Now here, I'm going to bring all the columns, select all the columns, click here, hold your mouse key, just drop it here. Then double click the expression, click on the ports tab, click this small little icon on, on the side, add a new port to this transformation, click OK, and now the new field is being created I want to move it all the way down so you see this little down arrow click on that it goes down double click this new field and name it as full name okay this little change on our uh, presentation that's okay so now the, it should, it's a string but I'm combining the first name which is a 30 more characters and last name is 30 characters so I make it as a 60 characters um, click and uh, click OK and I but before you make a change this is an input port so click on it then it will be an output port then go back onto the expression column if you go if you click that there would be a little box pops I mean opens up click on it it opens up the expression ed editor on the formula column click first name double click it and put the concatenated string and last name click validate it says it's validated successfully click OK apply again OK cool now I want to take this name port off because I don't want to bring it from the names uh, name column but I want to bring it from my full name click on it hold your mouse key and just drop it on the name column on the employees TGT control S, save it it says that mapping customer sales is valid so this is how you create the mapping uh, for the case study one for the case study two we did this mapping we create and we named that uh, employee name and drag and drop the employees we create the transformations and we name the transformation as exp underscore see this is the naming convention that you should follow drag and drop the first and last name column from the SQ meaning source qualifier double click it to configure the ports port we have done that and we added the first name and last name a formula concatenation into it and we added the formula right we stepped it and the last step is to connect the source qualifier and expression transformation output to the target ports we have done it 
create a session as described in the Power Center Designer introduction, create workflow as described, right click on the workflow and click start work. So let's see how we can uh, quickly do this. Right, um, go to this mapping. You see a little box in the, under the mappings menu, click generate workflow, click that. I'm selecting a default value. The prefix is should for the workflow should WF and the prefix for the session name, click next. I don't want to give too much of detail about it, but it's a good to know all this information. Click finish. Then the session and the workflow has been created. Yeah, after in the left hand side, you see the, uh, the orange W that is a workflow manager, how to invoke it, double click here. Now go my go to my workflow. So the new workflow has been created. A W F underscore M underscore employees demo.